Uh, after uh, your disendorsement uh, from One Nation, there was a lot of ridicule of um, you and um, you know saying that you were you know a fringe person. But you're actually quite a uh, pillar of your local community. Um, for example, um, you're the organizer of uh, World Harmony uh, Day, and obviously, as we mentioned, you've got a lot of support for your campaign in uh, your community. So, can you talk a bit about? Um, yeah, uh, your activities. Right. Yes, I um I formed this uh, I uh, found this um World Harmony Society back in twenty twelve. So you know our aim is to help, uh, you know to connect multicultural community and the mainstream community. So I think I think if I put up an event, big event, so everybody can join together and they can understand each other's culture. And that will bring everybody together, and that will create more, you know, uh, more harmony for our society. That's my aim. And also, we, you know, we like to let people know not all culture are good culture. For example, the Chinese Communist culture, they they're, they're based in lie. You know, we don't want that culture. So we need people to understand. There's not a, all culture is the same. And also, child marriage, genital mutilation forced abortion. That's not good culture. We don't want to that that kind of things are happening in our community. And our goal also to uh, be, uh, uh, aiming to helping the community to raising funds for themselves because you know funding is always the problem for organizations. People are joining organization because they want to serve the community. So they they you know we want to create the opportunity to help or Organization. That's why we uh, provide a free stores for non-profit organization to fundraise to help their fundings. Yeah. Would you say that, like, obviously, some some might call uh, the World Harmony Society a uh, multicultural uh, event, but it's it's far from what you're saying to me. It's more about promoting a good culture. That you know, obviously. Uh, as you mentioned, not all cultures are equal, but there's certainly, uh, apart from Western culture, there are you know many other you know good cultures around the world, just as there are bad cultures. Exactly, that's that's what it is. That's why we are aiming for intercultural understandings. So you know, for to understand each other's culture, not only understand the good culture, we also need to identify the bad culture for each each cultural background so you know so and then we will adapt the good culture but we have to stop the bad cultures has your political activity over the past year uh, affected the uh, success of the world harmony festival that you've been managing to build up well um that that was you know the funding was being cancelled for last year's World Harmony Day Festival, but this year, uh, and then you know they're trying very hard for us to get the venue back again. They you know, uh, but now we got the venue and they will go. They will be going through. They will be happening again. So you know, we our children's festival uh, back in a couple of weeks ago, it was being very successful. So I don't think that you know uh, people would. Uh, uh, worry about what happened with my, you know, and and, and sh they shouldn't. They shouldn't connect my political um, life with my uh, the the com the organization because it's totally and and World Harmony Society is a non-political organization. We are aiming to helping communities. We are not, you know, in the in the event. I don't talk about my political activities. You know, I, I haven't mentioned anything. We don't have our sign there. My political sign there. I'll fly there. I have nothing about it's nothing about my political campaign. Yeah, it's just, it's different issue. It's on. It's sad in today's society how well it's it's mainly only uh, people who have right wing views. It doesn't matter, you know, what other work they do, you know, for uh, for the community or um, or in uh, other uh, areas if they have the. Know, wrong views in the the eyes of you know the the media and the the cultural elite then automatically you know they they believe that they should be you know cast out of society which is you know quite quite a sad development 
Exactly, exactly right. Why they have to co connect my, uh, you know, the, the organization, the charitable organization, which is doing good things for the community. Why they have to shut, you know, try to destroy it. What they do is they're trying to destroy it, you know. So, I mean, and, and it's a separate issue. They shouldn't connect my political um, uh, activity with the organization. It's totally different, you know. Just like, uh, you know, uh, I mean, it's it, like uh, all politicians, they have their own belief and, and they, they have a family. You don't go to the, you know, if they don't like their idea, you don't go to destroy their family, is it? No, no. Right? So I, I think these people are very selfish people. Mm. They're just selfish. They, they want everything in their way. Well, it sounds like they've, uh, as they try to do with most people, they did their best to, you know, destroy your uh, work. But uh, but it sounds like that you've got, you know, a strong uh, community behind you, and you know they did help you, you know, persevere, and you're you're still uh, organizing your events and you know appearing at uh, community events. Yes, as, I mean people love to attend our event, and our, you know the performing groups, the uh, community group, uh, organization, they are all being very supportive with our for our event, and they all you know shows their appreciation that I spend time to organize the event, you know, so they can um, have all the community coming together, and they appreciate what I am doing for them. Yeah, it's, that's more appreciation shown to me than before, you know. <laughs> So I think they do understand what I'm doing. Yeah. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.